Hello, hello, and welcome to the Feed My Sheep Foundation Bible Study video channel. Today on this channel, on uh, this video, I am going over our study in First Chronicles, and we're in chapter 15, and it starts off with David. And go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and get started with verse 1. It says, David made him houses in the city of David and prepared a place for the ark of God and he pitched for it in a tent okay so this chapter is somewhat similar to chapter 14 and probably some of the other chapters that we're going well not probably but some of the other chapters that we're going to uh, read in first chronicles they're going to basically do a, uh, a just like a repeat of some of the other chapters regarding uh certain people and in this instance is David we're going into some of his uh, some different things that happened with him from the book of Samuel and from Samuel chapter 6 I believe it is for this this uh, Samuel, yeah, Samuel chapter 6 and 1st Samuel we're going to take some of the story from that book it's recorded in this book also Okay, so it starts off here, verse 2, it says, Then David said, None ought to carry the ark of God but the Levites. For uh, they have, uh, the Lord has chosen them to carry the ark of God and to minister unto him forever. Okay, so this is uh, basically going over what we have said before about the Levites and the tribe of Levi and how God had chose them specifically to be responsible for the ordinances of the house, the house of God. And the ordinances, uh, as far as uh, M M Moses and Aaron, were actually the ones that God spoke to and gave them directions on how to lead the children of Israel at that time. And they were also from the tribe of Levi, Moses and Aaron. So it was the Levites that were leading the people as far as their relationship with God, okay? And uh, making sure they understood and they got the statutes from and commandments from God and how to become a people okay and then also just hearing from their creator and so it goes on to tell us here uh, going back to verse 3 it says and David gathered all Israel together to Jerusalem to bring up the ark of the Lord unto his place which he had prepared for it and David assembled the children of Aaron and the Levites and of the sons of Kohath, Uriel, and then it goes, starts to name some of the different other people of their sons and their uh, generation from David and Aaron. And then it goes down to, uh, let's see here, where it, pick, it picks back up verse 11. David called for Z uh, Zodak and Abiathar, the priests, and for the Levites, for Uriel, Asiah, and Joel, and Shimea, and Eliel, and Emendaba. And said to them, You are the chief of the fathers of the Levites. Sanctify yourselves, both you and your brothers, that you may bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel to the place that I have prepared for it. Okay, so this is going into uh, explaining how the Levites, again, they were over this, the, uh, the, the preparation of the house of the Lord, uh, the administration of, and the consecrations of people in their relationship with God they were like the you know the church today and how they are over the people and uh, helping them to come into salvation and come into the kingdom and this is that was the same establishment in the same order that the Levites had in the Old Testament and then it goes on to say here that for because you did it not at first the Lord our God made a breach upon us for that we sought him not after the due order so now we're talking about the consecration because if we were recall in chapter 14 there was a guy uh, not 14 but 13 there was a guy uh, starting uh, chapter 13 verse 9 through 11 the guy named Uzzah who tried to touch the ark of God and when he touched the ark of God he died okay because he was not qualified he wasn't he hadn't been consecrated in order to touch it because the ark we want to say it's kind of like the Holy Spirit in a physical form, 
in a tangible form, I want to say. Okay, but it's not the Holy Spirit. But that's what they were, you know, that's the way they were thinking. And they were taught to think in the Old Testament as far as, again, regarding the order and the ordinances of God and being established as a people and having a relationship with him. So uh, then it goes on to say that verse 14, so the priests and the Levites, they sanctify themselves to bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel. And the children of the Levites bear the ark of God upon their shoulders with the staves therein as Moses commanded according to the word of the Lord. And David spoke to the chief of the Levites to appoint their brothers to be singers with instruments of music, psalteries and harp cymbals and sounding uh, uh, and by lifting up the voice with joy. Okay, so they were uh, getting together a choir. Then he says, the Levites appointed Haman, the son of Joel, the son of Brethren, uh, Asaph. And we've read about Asaph and then the other one that's mentioned in this paragraph is Ethan. Ethan and Asaph, uh, which they both, we've read some of their recordings in the book of Psalms which would have been songs that they would have sung in praise and worship toward our Heavenly Father in from the Old Testament at that time. So it tells us, verse 18, And with them their brother, or their brothers of the second degree, Zechariah, Ben, and then it goes into the different brothers and family, Obadidam, and then it says, So the singers of Haman, Asaph, and Ethan were appointed to sound with the cymbals of the brass, Okay, uh, and I'm going to skip around because when they have all these names grouped together without any uh, explanation of them, I don't want to go into trying to read all of those. Okay, verse 25, David and the elders of Israel and the captains over thousands went to bring up the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord out of the house of Obedidim with joy. Okay, so now they went and got the Ark of the... Uh, the Ark of God, of the Covenant, the Ark of God, and they got it from the Obedidim household because, again, we back in chapter 13, that's where David took it because he was scared that because uh, Uzziah or Yusa, the guy Yusa had actually uh, touched the Ark and the Lord killed him because he wasn't sanctified, he wasn't supposed to touch the Ark. So the Lord killed him. And so David was, you know, he was kind of in questioning whether he should take the ark with him or what to do with it. So he took it over to the Obedidim's house. And so now they've gotten it back and now they have it back with the children of Israel. So it came to pass when God had to help the Levites that uh, bear the covenant of the, uh, of the Lord that they offered seven bullocks of seven rams and David was clothed with, with a robe of fine linen and all the Levites and, that bear the ark and the singers and Shanina, the master of the song and the singers. David also had upon him a, a ephod and linen. So they were all praising and worshiping God because the ark of the covenant was back in their presence and the ark of the covenant would bring blessings okay, to them. And that's why they were all happy and joyful and praising God because they now have it back with them. And they know that the blessing and God is for them, you know, so the blessings is coming back. So verse 28 says, Thus all Israel brought up the ark of the covenant of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the cornet, with trumpets, cymbals, making a noise with psalteries and harps. And it came to pass as the ark of the covenant of the Lord came to the city of David, that Michelle, the daughter of Saul, she was looking out a window and she saw King David dancing and playing. And she despised him because he was dancing and playing the harp and rejoicing over the covenant of, you know, just into the Lord, praising the Lord. And this Michelle, who is the daughter of Saul, she despised David in her heart when she saw him doing that, okay? And actually, we're going to go over and take a look at that story where Michelle, uh, she despised David as she saw him dancing and praising the Lord because now they have the Ark of the Covenant back in their presence and she's a part of the God's kingdom too. You would think she wouldn't be you know, like that because she's Saul's daughter and again Saul was a part of the kingdom of God too but he
he was just in competition and, and against David so much that when you read the Bible, you wouldn't really think of it. <laughs> but he was. So anyway, the story of Michelle. That's going to be our elaboration for this particular, uh, for this Bible study from Chronicles, First Chronicles chapter 15. And it's going to be taken from uh, Samuel, is it? It's in the book of Samuel. Mm. And that's 2 Samuel. Uh, let me make sure here. Samuel chapter 6. Okay, so it's Samuel chapter 6, all, and it's actually the whole chapter. It goes into also reference to this whole conversation that uh, we just read about in chapter 15 regarding the house of Israel and the covenant coming back, and then the Levites needing to sanctify themselves before they actually touch the Ark of the Covenant. Because again, that's why the guy Uzzah got killed because he wasn't sanctified before and it's like the the ark is considered like the something like if you want to compare it to anything it will be compared to the anointing even though you would hear them speak of the anointing be up, being upon certain people in the old testament so but this was their order of worship this was their order of uh establishment and you know statue the way god had commanded moses and aaron to teach them so this was their order so, as we're in 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 16, it says, And as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, uh, Michelle, Saul's daughter, she looked through a window and saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord, and she despised him in her heart. Okay? So she despised him in her heart. And so therefore, and that's just looking at that verse, going on from there, verse 17, they brought the ark into the Lord and set it in its place. Uh, then I'm going to skip over to verse 20. Then David returned to bless his household, and Michelle, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David and said, How glorious was the king of Israel today! Who uncovered himself today in the eyes of the handmaids of his servants as one of the vain fellows and shamelessly uncovering himself now that's what she said to him after she despised him after she saw him dancing and praising the Lord so then verse 21 and David said unto Michelle it was before the Lord which chose me before thy father and before all his house to appoint me ruler over the people of the Lord, over Israel. Therefore will I play before the Lord. He said, and I will yet be more, uh, he said, I'll be yet more vile, undignified than thus, and will be a base, a humble in my own sight, he said, and of the maid servants which thou hast spoken of, of them shall I have in the honor. So therefore, you know, because Michelle despised him and he was dancing before the God the holy God of heaven it says here in verse 23 that therefore Michelle the daughter of Saul she was cursed to the point that she had no child until the day of her death okay because she mocked she laughed at David because he was dancing he was dancing and praising the Lord and dancing and praising a praise is a part of the holy spirit okay you a person an individual will not even be able to enter into praising and worshiping god without the holy spirit because submission to god first has to happen okay and then once submission happens and you're converted into the kingdom praise is a part of the holy spirit it's given as a uh it's given to the saint as you know, in the Holy Spirit because of mourning, because of the, the different attacks that the saints have to go through uh, 
that's a part of the kingdom. And he tells us, God tells us that in Isaiah 54, I believe it is, that he gives us the spirit of praise. Isaiah, let me see here. Sixty-one. Okay, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Okay, so that's what he says. He's uh, verse three here in Isaiah sixty-one to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion and to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, and the garment of praise for for the spirit of heaviness. So that's something that is given from heaven to the saint. So when she saw him dancing, and she began to laugh at him. She began to curse him. Therefore, a curse was placed back on her because she did that. And she was not able to conceive and have any children until her death, it says here. Okay, and let's see here. And she, another thing about her, she was, David wanted her to be his wife at one point. And that is in uh, 2 Samuel chapter 3. The same Michelle woman. And it says chapter 3, verse 14. 13. She said, uh, verse 13. And he said, Well, I make a league with thee, but one thing I require of thee, that is, thou shalt not see my face, except thou first bring Michelle, Saul's daughter, when thou comes to see me. When you, when you come to see me. Said, and David sent messengers to Ishaba, Saul's uh, son, saying, Deliver me my wife Michelle, which I exposed to me for a hundred foreskins because of the Philistines. Okay, so you know, he wanted Michelle to be his wife at one point. Uh, let me see, where did he actually state that? That's what I really believe. Mm. He actually went into the agreement to have. Michelle as his wife and Saul agreed to it because Saul wanted you know to set him up to fight the Philistines so that he could lose in battle and be killed but that didn't happen like that he ended up winning in battle getting the wife and then the uh, a lot of the women praising him for the victories and then Saul became jealous and envious of him so his own demise backfired on him as you know a lot of times that happens with the anointed people because of the anointing and that's what happened in the case of David and uh, Saul and with his daughter, Michelle. Okay, so that is going to bring us to the conclusion of our Bible study today from 1 Chronicles chapter 15. God bless you and I look forward to studying with you as we continue to go forward on the Feet My Sheep Foundation Bible City video channel.